Okay, in this video, we're going to uh, review if Ultraceps has installed correctly after uh, you've ran the installer. Now, obviously, you've downloaded Ultraceps version 2 from our site, and you've unzipped uh, the file, which has left you with a folder named Ultraceps v2. Inside there is all the files you'll need. Uh, in addition to the two installers, one for a older 32-bit system and one for a 64-bit system. Make sure to run the correct installer. After running the installer, and a few things about the installer uh, before we go any further. The installer may take anywhere from 30 seconds to two and a half minutes to complete. It all depends upon the age of your system, how fragmented your hard drive is, and so on. But the most important thing when the installer is running is if you see any flashing icon in your um, taskbar at the bottom of your screen in Windows, uh, make sure to click that and then just click the button that's asking you to agree and to let the installation complete. Um, if you miss that and just close the installer thinking it's done, uh, the program will not completely install. So make sure to agree with everything and if you see anything flashing in the taskbar or on the middle of your screen, make sure you pay attention to that and agree with it so the installer can complete. Okay, now let's check that the installer has placed all the files correctly. What you're going to want to do is open your C drive. And once your C drive is open, look for two folders. There needs to be a folder named Ultraceps and one named QSU right at the top level of your C drive. These need to be there. Never rename those folders, never add anything to them, never delete anything from them. If you do, Ultraceps may no longer function. Now we'll need to see if the plugin and the English data file has been installed in the version of Photoshop that's on your system. So you're going to want to go to your program files folder. Uh, if on a 64-bit system and you're using CS3 Photoshop or below, that will be in your program files x86 folder. This is for old 32-bit programs. But for now we're going to focus on the program files folder which is 64-bit. Uh, and if you have an older computer, an older 32-bit system, you will only have one program files folder. Everything will be in here. So open up your program files folder and open the Adobe folder. And now open the version of Photoshop in use on your system. This would be Adobe Photoshop CS6 64-bit. Now we're going to look for a file called English Data. And as you can see, it's right here. Okay, that needs to be there or there will be issues with the software running. Now we're going to have to check if the plugin has been installed. So we're going to open the plugins folder. Inside the plugin folder, there should be a folder named Automate. And inside the Automate folder, there needs to be the correct Ultraceps plugin. All right, if it's a 64-bit version of Photoshop, this needs to be the 64-bit plugin. If it's an older uh, system running 32-bit software, this would say Ultraceps V2 32-bit. Now, if for any reason this plugin is not included within the Automate folder, or if there is no Automate folder, however, the other files are there, um, it's a good idea not to run the installer again because on Windows you would actually have to run the uninstaller first. So what you'll need to do if for some strange reason there is no automate folder is to open the plugins folder and just simply make a folder and name it automate just as you see it here. Now open the automate folder, go back to the Ultraceps V2 folder that was downloaded from our website open the backup files, open the plugins, and inside there are copies of the two plugins, the 32-bit and the 64-bit. And simply copy uh, one of these plugins, make sure it's the correct one, to the automate folder that you've created within Adobe Photoshop.
Okay, I've now uh, launched Adobe Photoshop, and uh, at this point, we're going to need to uh, load the Ultraceps V2 Actions into the Actions palette. So uh, make sure you, your Actions palette is visible on your screen. If not, go up the window and select Actions. Now, when your Actions palette, there's a small icon in the upper right-hand corner. It has a little arrow with four lines next to it. Click that and now select load actions navigate to the Ultraceps V2 folder which should be on your desktop and double click the Ultraceps V2 Windows actions file the actions have now been loaded into the actions palette if they do not look like multicolored buttons as in my example here you need to turn on button mode they may look like this which is called list mode. You do not want to run ultraceps in this fashion. So if they do open up in your actions palette and appear like this, go to this icon and choose button mode and this turns them into buttons. The next thing we're going to need to do is to load the ultraceps color settings and this is very simple to do. There's an action right here called load ultraceps color settings. Just click it, click continue, Continue again, and that's it. The color settings have now been loaded into Adobe Photoshop. And we could check that by going to the Edit menu, scrolling down to Color Settings, and you'll see the settings now say Ultraceps Custom Color. This is what this needs to say. Everything underneath will use the term Quickseps. This is normal. These are the correct color settings for Ultraceps. Now let's check that our plugin is in the correct location and has loaded. Go up to the file menu, scroll down to automate, and there should be the letter QS with three periods next to it. If no file is open, it'll be grayed out. This is normal. Let's open a file. And now let's go back to the uh, automate menu. And you'll see that the letter QS with three periods is now dark black. This indicates that the plugin has loaded and Ultraceps is functional. And that's it. Ultraceps is now loaded correctly into Photoshop and all the files are in the correct location for use. If there's anything that's not completely understood, or if any problems arise, by all means, send us an email to info at ultraceps.com, and I'll be more than happy to resolve your problem. Thanks again.